Hi students, welcome back to Media Classes. In the previous video, we did some problems from exercise 2.7. Now, we will continue the next one. The third one is find 2.7 divided by 100. 2.7 divided by 100. First one. As you know that when any decimal number is divided by 100, 10, 100,000. So, already we did some problems division by 10. Now, division by 100, what is the rule we have? To divide any decimal number by 100, that means to get the coefficient. So, when you divide these two numbers, we will get the coefficient, isn't it? To get this coefficient, shift the digits, shift the digits in the decimal number to the left as many places as there are zeros over 1. Here we are dividing this decimal number by 10. Over 1, how many zeros are there? 2. In 100, 2 zeros are there. So we should shift the decimal numbers towards left by 2 digits, isn't it? Here how many digits are there in this decimal number to the left of decimal number? Only one digit is there. So we should shift 2 digits. So count two digits, one, two, there is no digit, so you should put a zero. Now, the number is, actually the number is 27. Now shift the decimal number towards left by two digits, one, no digit, put zero, immediately you put one point. Now that means we can write it as this one as 0 0.027, isn't it, 0 0.027. Why? Because here we are dividing this number by 10 in 100. In 100, two zeros are there. So we should shift this decimal point towards left by two digits. So here decimal point is here. So 1, 2, point 0, 0.027 or 0 0.027. Now second one is 0 0.3 divided by 100. This is same as the first one. So, write the, ignore the decimal point, write the number as t easily. So, here 0, 3. So, here in decimal part, so that means in decimal number, in decimal number, to the left of the decimal point, how many digits are there? There is no digit. But we should shift this point towards left by two digits. So, 1, 1. No digit is there to put point. Now 0 0.003. So like that. So divide the next number by 100. So 0 0.78 divided by 100. This is same as 100. Ignore the decimal point and write the number as easily. 0 0.78. So here over 1, 2 zeros are there. Shift the decimal point towards left by 2 digits. So here 1 is there, No, there is no other digit, to put some zeros, so 0, so 1, 2, put point, 0, point, 0, 0, 7, 8. So next one is, what is the next one, 432.6, 432.6 divided by 100. Ignore the decimal point, write the number as it is leave. 4326. Now here, over 1, 2 zeros are there. That means here we are dividing this decimal number by 100. So shift the decimal point towards left by 2 digits. Why? Because 2 zeros are there. So this is the easy method. 1, 2, put point immediately after 2 digits. 4.326. So, like that, so can you do these two problems as SW? Let me explain one more. So, this is the fourth one. So, let me explain this one. Sixth one. So, fifth one is HW. So, 98.53 divided by 100. All are same, procedure is same. So, write the number, ignore the decimal point and write the number. So here point is in between 5 and 8, 8 and 5. So divide, we are dividing this number by 100, 100, 2 zeros are there. Count two digits towards left, 1, 2, 
to put point point nine eight five three R. So there is no digit in the whole part. Put zero zero point nine eight five three. So like that we can divide any decimal number by hundred. Now come to the next Roman. Fourth one is find. 7.9 divided by 1000 so the rule is same here we are dividing this number that means to divide a decimal number by 1000 rule is same shift the digits to the decimal number that means shift the digits in the decimal number to the left how many places three places why because in thousand three zeros are there you should shift this decimal number towards left three places so really this is the rule now 7.9 divided by 1000 which is equal to write the number first 79 ignore the decimal point now shift the decimal point towards left by three digits so here one one there is no digits you can put as many zeros as you needed so here one digit is there but we need three digits so one two three immediately put one decimal point there is no whole part put zero so we can write it as 0 0.0079 0 0.0079 second one is division by 10 division by 100 division by 1000 procedure is same so 26.3 divided by thousand which is equal to write the number ignore the decimal point and write the number so here also we sh you should shift the decimal point towards left by three how many places are there one two there is no third digit put zero immediately put point now one two three put decimal point no whole part write zero zero point zero two six three so like that let me do the third one you can do the third one is hw same as this one 38 now fourth one is 128.9 divided by 1000 which is equal to same as ignore the decimal point and write the number now shift the decimal point towards left by three digits so this is one two three put point so 0 0.1289 so like that we can do the problems now can you do this one as hw so let me explain this one also so 0 0.5 divided by 1000 means write 0 0.5 so shift this decimal point towards left by three digits one two three put point 0 0.0005 so like that we can do the problem that means we can divide a decimal number by 10 100 and 1000 now come to the fifth one so in fifth roman so we can divide whole number by whole number by decimal number and decimal number by decimal number so here this is whole number by decimal number and this is also whole number by decimal number and remaining all are decimal number by decimal number procedure is same so for example take the first one 7 divided by 3.5 so as we know that when you divide any whole number or any decimal number by decimal number you just convert the decimal number into the fractional number so 35 by 10 so this is the fractional form so here this is the conversion of decimal number into fractional number and we know that every whole number has denominator as 1 7 means 7 by 1 so which is equal to to divide any number by fraction so what is the rule we must multiply the first number whether it is whole number or fraction number you just multiply it multiply the first number by the reciprocal of the second fraction so this is 35 by 10 means reciprocal is 10 by 35 reciprocal means interchanging the numerator and denominator that is called the reciprocal 
now we can cancel seven ones seven seven fives in numerator and denominator so the common factor is seven we can cancel these two numbers by seven seven one seven five now in ten and in ten and five again five table five ones five twos which is equal to two therefore seven divided by we can write this one as therefore seven divided by three point five is equal to two so did you understand whole number divided by let me explain whole number divided by fraction means first you convert this decimal number into fraction number and then you convert into the multiplication to divide any fraction by to divide any number by fractional number you should multiply the first number here the first number is 7 7 into reciprocal of 35 by 10 10 by 35 now after that simplification this is 2 now, let me do the second one so can you do the second one as hw because these two are same do hw now let me do the third one 3.25 divided by 0 0.5 here both are decimal numbers both are decimal numbers convert into the fractional numbers yeah. that means 325 by 100 into sorry, sorry 325 by 100 divided by 5 by how much 10 5 by 10 now division of fractional number by fractional number so rule is multiply the first fraction 325 by 100 into reciprocal of the second fraction 10 by 10 by 5 so which is equal to how much so we can cancel zeros 0 0 cancel that means what does it mean 10 1 10 10 10 100 that is the meaning now we can cancel these two numbers why because in units place 5 is there so this can be divisible by 5 so here 5 1 5 so 5 6 are 30 32 minus 1 32 minus 30 2 is there 2 5 25 now in 25 5 is 5 times you divide here otherwise 325 by 5 5 6 30 minus it to down this 5 5 5 are 25 that means in 325 5 is 65 times which is equal to how much 65 by 65 by 10 why because 65 into 1 65 10 into 1 10 so which is equal to now you convert this decimal fraction into the decimal number write the numerator as it is and denominator 1 0 is there count one digit from the right hand side from the right hand side 1 put point now 6.5 6. now fourth one is hw fourth one is hw because this is same as this one we do hw now fifth one 0, 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.25 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.4 now convert it to the fractional number that means 5 by 5 by how much 10 divided by 25 by is it 10 or 100 100 why because in decimal part two places are there one two right two zeros here in decimal part only one digit is there right one zero that means five by ten divided by 25 by 100 now which is equal to how much to divide any fraction by other fraction to divide any number by fractional number multiply the first number what is the first number here we have five by ten into reciprocal of this one is 100 by 25 now we can cancel 0 and 0 now we can cancel these two 5 ones 5 fives again 5 ones 5 twos which is equal to 2 now 
Sixth one is 7.75 divided by 0.25. This is same as third one. This is same as third one. So this is also HW. Now seventh one. Seventy six point five divided by zero point one five zero point one five. So convert this one. Seventy six point five means seven hundred sixty five by ten divided by fifteen by hundred fifteen by 100, which is equal to 765 by 10 into what is the reciprocal 100 by 15 cancel zeros now in 765 and in 15 which table so we can cancel these two numbers by 5 and by 15 also and by 15 also you should know the tables up to 20 you understand now 15 ones are 15 so you divide this number 765 by 15 15 fives how much 75 minus it one 15 ones 15 ones are 15 minus it. now in 765 15 is how many times 51 times how many times now 51 into 10 isn't it 51 into 10 by 1 into 1 1 1 ones are 1 51 into 10 means 510 by 1 into 1 1 500 by 510 by 1 are 510 but that's same now the next one is 7 to 1 8 1 8 1 can you do this one also hw okay let me do this one Eighth one. Eighth one is thirty-seven point eight divided by fourteen or one point four. One point four, sorry. One point four. So convert into the fraction number how much? Three hundred seventy-eight by ten divided by 378 divided by 10 divided by 14 by 10 so which is equal to same process same 378 by 10 mm -hmm. into reciprocal of this one is 10 by 10 by 14 now 0 0 cancel 10 once 10 once now in 375 14 is how many times let me divide here is it exactly divisible or not? We will see. 14 ones are 14, 14 twos are 28, 14 threes are how much? 14 threes, I think more than this number. 3 fours, 12, 1, 3 ones, 3. So it is big number. So 14 is how many times? 2 times 14 twos are 28 minus it. 7 minus it, not possible borrowing. 17 minus 8 is how much? 9 down 8 now in 14 14 98 is in 98 14 is how much and 14 7 are 7 8 28 to 7 1 7 plus 2 98 so 14 7 are how much 98 that means 14 ones 14 27 now which is equal to 27 by 1 that means 27 so like that we can divide the decimal number by decimal number and whole number by decimal number now this is also hw now come to the next one last problem is sixth problem a vehicle covers a distance of 43.2 kilometers in 2.4 liters of petrol how much distance will it cover in 1 liter of petrol that means by using 2.4 liters of petrol a vehicle covers a distance of how much 
43.2. Here the question is by using 1 litre of petrol, how much distance will it cover? So we can write this one as, so by using, so this is the solution. By using 1 litre of petrol, how much distance will it cover? So by using Two point four liters of petrol. Vehicle covers. You need not write all these things. By using two point four liters of petrol, vehicle covers forty three point two kilometers. So the question is by using one liter by using 1 liter of petrol by using 1 liter of petrol it covers how much distance it covers how many kilometers so when you read this statement it is very easy to get the answer to get more than 43.2 or less than 43.2 obviously less than by using 2.4 43 by using one liter to get less than it covers less distance so that means 1 by 2.4 into 43.2 kilometers that means you must divide this one by 2.4 which is equal to 43.2 by 24 kilometers as we know that 43.2 kilometers divided by what does it mean what does it mean 43.2 by 2.4 means you must divide this one by 2.4 divided by 2.4 now you convert this one into the fractional form so that means convert into the fractions 432 by 10 divided by so of course this is kilometers divided by 24 by 10 which is equal to so to divide a number by fraction multiply the first number what is the first number we have 432 by 10 432 by 10 into what is the reciprocal of 24 by 10 10 by 24 now we can cancel 10 and 10 now 24 and 432 so 24 ones are 24 and in 432 I think it is 18 times let me divide here 432 by 432 by 24 24 ones are 24 24 twos 48 so one time 24 minus it 3 minus 4 13 minus 4 borrowing 13 minus 4 is how much 9 3 minus 2 1 down this 2 now in 4, 24 means in 192 24 is how many times 24 1 24 24 2 is 48 24 3 is 72 so like that you prepare the 24th table so how many times it is 24 I think uh, 7 2 and 8 times 24 8s are multiply 24 8s 8 4 is 32 8 2 16 plus 3 9 24 8s are 192 now that means 24 ones 24 18 which is equal to 18 means these are the kilometers so 18 into 1 18 ones are 18 kilometers what is this 18 kilometers by using 1 liter of petrol by using 1 liter of petrol a vehicle covers 18 kilometers so finally we can write this one as by using by using one liter of petrol vehicle covers 18 kilometers of distance so okay students so, this is the last topic of this chapter so be prepared thorough with this chapter so let us continue in the next video